Noise is a huge problem in schools, but it's not always easy to measure. In this video, I'm going to show you what to measure and some equipment that will help you take measurements from your school or any other place where there might be too much noise. The design of rooms for speech seems to be a critical aspect of the acoustic design of a school. Rooms should be designed to facilitate clear communication of speech between students and teachers as well as between students. Hearing and understanding are important parts of the learning process. A structured approach to the acoustic design of classrooms needs to consider the following factors. Indoor ambient noise levels, room size and geometry, amount of acoustic absorption needed to achieve the required reverberation time, type, location, and distribution of that acoustic absorption, special consideration for non-standard rooms, and use of electronic sound reinforcement system. Main factors that affect classroom acoustics are reverberation and background levels. ANSI standard S12.60 for classroom acoustics addresses the issue of both reverberation time and background noise, as well as their effect on speech intelligibility by placing maximum permissible levels on each. Under the standard, the recommended reverberation time in unoccupied furnished classrooms for school-aged children is 0.6 to 0.7. Recommended background noise levels for unoccupied classrooms for school children is 35 dBA. It's worth remembering that even for periodical checks, it's recommended to use professional sound level meters, which meet the requirements of IEC 61672. Before implementing any changes, it is necessary to know actual acoustic conditions of the classroom. Therefore, measurement in this case is crucial. For more, visit Svantec Academy.